Yay! Hello, Gemma. How are you? Hi. Good. I feel like all of my um, my video interviews are going to start out with me like <laughs> cheering because it always feels like a miracle when they actually work. Actually, it is. But it is. Hello. I'm so sorry for the delay. I'm in Puerto Rico right now from parallel 18 offices. And um, yeah, sometimes we have a kind of slow connection. But finally, I think uh, we are on live right now, I guess. Yes, yes, we're on live. Can so you hear me well? Giving, yeah, yeah, you sound great. I was giving a little bit of an update in terms of, or I should say background story, in terms of how we first met and how, yes. um, you know, we started at, as the first class of Parallel 18 and, uh, you know, the 19th Amendment team got to the island and we were lucky enough to have met you like within our first week and how you you graciously showed us around and introduced us to the creative community there and how we're really happy that it's come full circle and we get to kind of introduce your brand to 19th amendment um shoppers and so i don't want to i don't want to tell too much of your story but maybe you can give us a little bit of a, a background and and we can talk a little bit about your design side Sure, sure. Um, actually, um, yeah, I remember very well that first time that we met here in Parallel 18 in Puerto Rico. Um, I'm a jewelry designer, but also I'm a fashion consultant. Um, and I'm working as a mentor since that moment. I believe that since 2014, 2015, um, helping to new and upcoming designers how to, to create a sustainable fashion framework and business framework for the brands that they are um, right. working with. So I have that kind of two uh, jobs right now. And right. so I've been so, not, how do you say, I, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm working so hard to make them, um, looking for them access and bringing them them resources to access to new markets most of them international markets for their businesses and also for the brands so that's why i'm still working so hard with the ecosystem of the fashion entrepreneurs on, on the island and definitely and you're also doing your jewelry brand yes i do um i been working in the jewelry this i'm been designing since 2003 I guess so it's more than 15 years and in the industry I started working for, um, fashion jewelry um, brand for men and then decide to move to uh, women's as well um, most of my jewelry are you know looking for uh, enhance the style of the woman but also incorporating uh, new techniques, new technology or materials to make a statement pieces. That's like my style. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't realize that you started with men's kind of accessories before you went into women's. Um, one of the things that I love most about your brand is just like the breadth of the, the design and the inspiration that you, you have, like, um, the difference between, for example, like your kind of wooden piece collection versus some of the other brass material collection. Can you talk a little bit about where you get those different bits of inspiration from and how that influences your, like what your end product is? For sure. Actually, I have some um, samples here to show you about this. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, um, I've been working... First, uh, most of the collections I've been working in collaborations with some designers for the runways or for their inspirations, a specific uh, season. So I love the way I can be challenging my talent or challenging myself, creating new uh, accessories um, any times that I have the opportunity. So the last collection that we have the opportunity to create before the Hurricane Maria is the one that I, you are telling about the materials with the wood and the colors. Let me try to see if you can see some of the pieces here. Maybe I can turn off. 
around the camera. Let me try to see if I can make it well. Okay, I think you can see oh, here. Cool. Those are some samples of what I've been working at that moment. And this uh, collection is very special for me because it's made by collaboration of few of our designers as well. So all the process, um, I have the opportunity to collaborate with uh, graphic designers and also um, laser cut um, members of the designers that create all the laser cutting of the wood, the acrylic, and also work with the metal smith work over here to make a stylish design. As you see, this is a kind of pin, but also I create belts. This is the buckle of the belt, and you belt can, awesome. yeah, and you can put it with different kind of leathers or also other kind of colors for your belt. So you can create a new design wherever you want to use it. And yeah, that's very cool. This is a sample of uh, some earrings that I have. Uh, one of those very similar in your web page available for sale right now so this collection was the one that i've been working before the hurricane maria came and hit the island and was very inspiring um in, in, it was very important for me because it the, was the first time that i used the laser cutting on the process so it was like a t new technology for use to to me at that moment Got it. And is this, are these part of the Prisma collection? Yes. Okay. It was the, the Prisma collection. Prisma collection, I believe we launched that collection with the Kelvin Giovanni designer at the San Juan Moda runway. And it was completely a success. And um, it was a very unique style for her dresses. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's so it's really interesting because I feel like your pieces are you almost take inspiration from the people you're working with to help inform the style of your pieces. So like the Prisma um, collection versus like some of what I think is your more recent stuff, like the stuff that you were doing in Arizona. So yes. the, the pendants. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And how that kind of plays into your design inspiration. Can you talk a little bit about what you've been up to in Arizona and your design process there? Uh, for sure. Um, well, it's a kind of long story, but I will try to make it very <laughs> short. <laughs> um, after being working with uh, the Prisma collection, actually, um, I had the opportunity to present that in Barcelona in um, 2015 with uh, I believe 20 or 10 to 20 designers of jewelry designers from the island had the opportunity to be together at Barcelona at that moment. And that gave us a kind of a sense of community with the one that we 